welcome to the channel thank you everybody for tuning in now on today's video i will be bringing you guys a brand new watch from aliexpress it is a new brand called kia iris now this is available from the andaya watch store same guys that bought you the sieg flammer decipher and those vintage watches that i recently looked at now this watch in particular is paying homage to a really vintage military inspired watch the watch in particular is the rolex bubble back california dial ref 2940 the guys at kia oris are massive fans of vintage military watches and you'll see quite a few variations on the store now this one in particular comes in two versions it comes with a st1701 with a sub dial at the six with a small seconds hand it also comes with a seiko nh38 version with the oversized mercedes style hands now both watches will cost you around 130 pound which is just under 175 dollars now, if after the review you choose to purchase the watch, I will leave the link for the store within the description below. Now, let's bring you to the watch and let's see what we have. Now, the watch will come to you in a canvas style protected hard case with foam inserts and the logo along the top. You'll also get a warranty card, a really soft suede polishing cloth or cleaning cloth with an extra strap and a spring bar removal tool. And this is the watch that you will be receiving. Let's look at the specifications and dimensions before we get on to the smaller details. Now the watch case has been constructed from 316L stainless steel including the bezel and the crown and case back. You've got a domed box style sapphire crystal. You also have an automatic hand winding Siegel ST1701 movement which has a beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour. It does hand wind but it does not hack. And I'll cover the accuracy of the movement slightly later on. You also have a water resistance of 200 meters with a screw down crown and a screw down case back. In terms of dimensions, you've got a 36 millimeter diameter case. The bezel is at 34 millimeters and it tapers down to 29 millimeters at the top. You've got a overall case thickness of 13.6 millimeters with the NATO strap. You're looking at just under 17 millimeters, a log to log of 44 millimeters and a log width of 18 millimeters with a watch head weight of 60 grams. Now, as I said, this watch is homaging the Rolly Bubbleback California Dial Ref 2940. Now, the guys at Kia Oris are huge fans of these military era vintage watches. Now, there has been an influx of smaller watches coming on AliExpress, and recently on this channel, I've been featuring a lot of smaller watches as well. And this is no different, it is 36 millimeters. But this is quite a thick watch. It's in line with the watch it is homaging, so this is how it's been made. Overall, it does have a really nice aesthetic appearance, really smooth looking case. Now you can see this uses a California dial with a matte black texture and Arabics, which have been applied using this layered old radium style loom. You've got the logo just below the 12 and then the brand name called Kia Iris. Now, while this does sound Greek to me, the brand owner told me what it actually means and it is a direct transliteration from a older Chinese word which was used to refer to the older or ancient royal family so it basically is trying to say that the customer that this is going to is a very special customer is a regal customer and it does have ties with royalty now they did reach out prior to creating this watch they asked me my opinion on uh, the logo so they gave me an option of just the logo and the brand name on its own and a combination i did go for just the logo because i think that's uh, you know a really nice looking logo uh, it's nothing offensive about it and i think the name is just quite difficult to pronounce also like i said to me it sounds greek um so part of my ignorance on that but you know it is a chinese transliteration so i don't know how you guys feel about the name i personally don't have any feelings towards it because we have seen names which are a lot worse at least this one does have some reasoning behind these now you can also see there is a sub dial at the six with that small seconds hand due to the movement that this watch uses which is the seagull st1701 you've also got polished candlestick style hands and you've got a printed minute track that goes around the dial which is somewhat distorted by this box style sapphire crystal now the sapphire crystal is clear there's no air coating to get in the way of this dial so which gives you really good legibility and amazing clarity at really extreme angles the watch case itself has been finely brushed at the lugs really smooth and fine brushing and the rest of the finishing is highly polished so along the sides of the case high polishing very smooth case really nicely finished the crown is also polished and you've got a tulip style crown 
some really nice machining very smooth to hold good grip as well screws out just fine allowing you to hand wind that movement one click and set the time now, I have had a few watches from the Andaya store and one thing that does stand out, uh, the cases have always been finished really well uh, and they are trying to do different things, you know, explore different designs, um, check out different styles of watches. So this is what they came up with. Now, I already showed you in the start of the video, they have another version, which is the Seiko NH38, which does not have this sub dial and it uses those oversized uh, Mercedes style hands and I do actually really like the look of that as well so you know you do have an option of both styles of dial now the case does have absence of any branding there's no signage on the crown there's also no signage on the case back it's just a highly polished case back you'll notice how thick that back is and it also has a coin edge uh, pattern around it now the case back was made like that just to give this watch a bubble style shape the movement itself does not require a case this thick let's see how this watch does for loom now the loom on this watch is fairly decent. As mentioned, it does have the old style radium of loom. The color is C3. Uh, and what I think what helps the loom is the fact that they have applied quite a fair few layers onto the dial. Don't expect it to last as long as normal C3, Super Luminova, etc. Uh, because this version of loom does not actually last that long. In fact, you'll slowly start to see the hour markers start to fade. The loom on the handset is okay, but this is what you'll be left with once the loom on the numerals does die down. Now, as already mentioned, the movement power in this watch is the Seagull ST1701. It has a beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour. It does not hack, but it does hand wind. Now, now, looking at this movement a little bit closer with the case back off, surprisingly, you can see some decoration. You've got the Geneva style striping present, and this is standard across all the ST1701 movements from Seagull. Now, in terms of accuracy and reliability, putting this on the time grapher, you can see a very healthy amplitude of around 280 to 90. Uh, it's got a very low B error and an accuracy of 0 to 2 seconds. So this watch is performing really well. In terms of long-term reliability, I don't have enough experience of this movement, but I do know they use it across a lot of micro brands and a lot of watches coming out from China. And I don't think there's any dramatic horror stories out there about this movement just crashing. But, you know, always with watches that are coming from abroad, China or whatever they may be, you know, if it does get knocks and bangs, it can definitely affect the movement. So if you've got a time grapher, make sure you check the watch when you do get it in hand. The watch comes to you on this 18mm NATO strap and one of the first things that you will notice about this leather strap is the smell. It's got that lovely, earthy, pure leather smell. It's like walking into a leather goods store and it's been a long time since I smelled some leather so it is decent quality, quite supple um, and you can see some really nice grain present on this leather but that smell is quite strong as soon as you take it out the packet and it is a really nice smell. The strap's also been finished from the side it has been sealed up so you don't get that many fray edges. You also got some off-white contrast stitching. You've got two stainless steel capes and a stainless steel buckle. Now I already mentioned that this watch will sit a lot thicker on the NATO strap. It will be coming in just under 17 millimeters. Now they also provide another strap which is a nylon style strap and that will decrease the thickness and I'll put this watch on this strap just slightly later. So let's go ahead and check this out on wrist and see how it looks. Wrist check for today. I've just recently bought myself a Zelos black tip crimson dial. This watch has become increasingly rare uh, and I sold my previous one uh, with the hopes that this would come up for sale and I actually managed to get one. So glad to have this Zelos back on wrist. Now here's the Kioris. 36 millimeter on this six and a half inch wrist. I'm not really a fan of NATO straps. Uh, while this is quite comfortable, I don't really like how they fit. This one will sit slightly proud on top of your wrist due to the straps below it. But dimension wise, it's actually really nice. If you get a, a flatter strap on this, it'll sit quite flush. The 16 mil thickness doesn't really bother me too much. There's no top wobble as well on the watch. You know, it is quite light. The watch head only being around 60 grams. One thing that does stand out on wrist, the finishing is immaculate. Really nice polished bezel. I do like that crystal and, you know, very legible as well. For the most part, I think it's a really nice looking watch with a reasonably accurate movement as well. Here's the watch on the supplied green nylon strap and I think it looks quite good and especially with this design I think this watch will suit a whole host of different style of straps 
being 18 millimeters as well it's not that difficult to get there still are a lot of 18 millimeter straps available i'm not a huge fan of the sub dial i do like to see a three-handed watch and i also think the nh38 version has nicer hands that use those oversized mercedes style hands just slightly closer to the watch is homaging but you know they have given us two options uh and i do hope they go for the logo uh, rather than the text of the brand but you know i don't feel any particular type of way about that let me know your thoughts on the topic and what you would prefer uh, a branded or just a logo dial and i will feed that back to the guys at kia oiris um so yeah so that's my final verdict on it it is a nice enough watch built well cost is 130 pound um which is okay it's a reasonable price um you know you can get a lot of watches for that price point as well it's not super cheap and it is on the expensive side so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will leave the link to the store within the description thank you guys as always for watching and i'll see you on the next one